Morning Church. Hope you're all well. Uh, my name's Alex and I worship at Park Dev Nazarene. I've been asked today to speak a little bit about thankfulness. Now if I'm honest, it's probably not a thing that I've been practicing as much as I would like to this past year due to the pandemic and the different lockdowns. Uh, and with that, uh, the disappointment when you and I thought things were getting better and we were allowed some normality back and then just have another lockdown. So it, it's, had a, it's had an effect on me where it brings uncertainty about what's going to look like lying ahead in the future. And with that uncertainty, it brings a lot of stress and worry into my life. Especially for my son, who's a very energetic two and a half year old, who, who just doesn't understand why he can't see his friends, why he's only allowed out for a little walk or to do some shopping. So I'm thankful that the nurses are, have opened back up and he's back where he should be and God willing that they stay open. Uh, when I feel myself and all these negative thoughts about about the future. Uh, I, I remind myself about God's promise, where He promises us uh, life and, and life to the full. And and He's a God, He's a great restorer. And I believe that He'll restore, He'll restore it to, to the way it should be. And God wants us to be joyful, to have joy in our life. And, and I know the experience that when you feel that joy, God's love, it makes you better. It, it, it's a healer. So it, it's been, it's been really hard. Uh, I'm so thankful that I've got a partner who gives me a lot of support. Uh, and I feel myself sometimes when I'm, I'm thinking about the future. I uh, remember uh, it says in the Bible, it says, live for today, for tomorrow will bring its own problems. And, and it's so true, uh, and it's helping me. Now, there are, are things that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my family. They're a great support. I'm thankful that I have a God who's always there for me to talk to and to listen to. And I'm thankful for friends, especially Lauren, who's always been there when I call him and been ready and willing to, to meet up with me, to, to have a chat. But she's been, that's been invaluable. Uh, so, I guess I just need to I need to focus in more on God and being thankful for what I do have uh, and instead of worrying about what I don't have you know but because that'll come back uh, and I truly believe that so I've got a wee bit of scripture here to read and it's from Psalm 100 verse 4 to 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through the generation. And thanks for listening and stay safe and I'll see you all soon. Bye.